Hey, what is up guys? Marcy here, back to do another video, and today we're on Tournament Creator for another game highlight. And we're playing this time as the Vanilla Screen. I'm going to showcase a pretty unusual and unexpected turn in this one. So grab some popcorn, relax, and let's get into this one. I'm going to go first and foremost for the EMP Control Center. Take both of the spikes as per usual on this map. I like the fact that this does have an EMP control center at the start of the game. It makes it unique. There's also a mutant hovel next to your base to capture. Sadly for me, I did not see that Rathman could have garrisoned that building. There's a little bit of a mistake early on in this particular match. But I see my opponent is a GDI faction. Now this game was played about a week ago on the latest R22 update. I have had to update R22 a number of times uh, because I omitted a fix for the sub-faction mechapedes crashing when stasis shield is used on them as well as the mothership I think but that had existed for quite a while years in fact uh, took me a long time to get to it I had it fixed for screen but a simple mistake made it so I only applied to screen not the reaper or traveler mechas So, I am glad to announce that I'm probably going to not work on this patch for quite a while. I'm going to instead focus on providing content such as this. Uh, I'm going to come up with new ideas, possibly. Guides, I know you guys received the 10 things you know about Kane's are pretty well. Uh, I know a lot more now than I did before, that's for sure. Been going through the game files and I... No more stats. Am I better as a player as a result of this? Probably not. But it has resulted in me doing a number of strategies which I would not have come up with if not for the for that. There's a couple ideas that I want to experiment with. But that's for a later time. EMP control centers have been captured by both of us. I have a slightly better time versus the EMP since I have attenuated force fields and force fields later on for my tripods, devastators and planetary assault carriers. Though packs not as commonly used against GDI due to the slingshots, the firehawks, the AP ammo APCs. They have a lot of hit scan type damage that can kill planetary assault carrier drones and it's really the drone stripping which is what it's known as that kills the packs. I think packs are best used in conjunction with Devastators. They're a mobile Devastator warship buffing unit. That's how I see the planetary assault carrier. I'm going to queue the Storm Riders now. Because typically, versus GDI, your opponent goes for Firehawks. And while it may seem counterintuitive, expecting Firehawks and going for Storm Riders, it is in fact not the case. Because if your opponent is on bomb loadout and tries to bomb you, the Storm Riders can intercept as the Firehawks try to retreat. Furthermore, it delays the Firehawks from bombing you. Because first, he has to kill the Storm Riders. And lastly, when you do finally get to Tier 3, Having those Storm Riders around is going to synergize extremely well with the Storm Column. Because the Ion Cloud above the Storm Column will provide a buff to your Storms. Significantly increasing the combat effectiveness of these units. I've got 7 Storm Riders and I'm going to move those in now. EMP is done for me but also... For my opponent, I was thinking about it. That's why I queued an assimilator here to attempt to kill his, or rather, capture his EMP control center. EMP does come down though on my storm riders. Only hits two of them. I say only. That considerably decreased the firepower of my storms, and I'm not going to have enough here to do a lot of damage with. I should call back the one storm that is on low health, which is what I do. I'm going to just pick away at these harvesters. It is. 
not a lot of damage but it's still going to prompt him to build those double a batteries and i'm just keeping his base revealed and scouted for the meantime we see a tech center is up for him apcs as well I was thinking about this expansion point, but then I was like, yeah, it's going to make more sense if I capture the EMP, reset that EMP cooldown of my opponent. I used the Tiber and Vibration Scan not to scout my opponent, but rather because I just wanted to save time and order my harvesters directly to my own blue field. I can build a growth accelerator on that blue field. It is somewhat of a safe field. Probably makes more sense as Reaper 17 because you do get that passive income along with the Tiberium growth acceleration so I'm going to have a lot of Tiberium coming in soon thanks to the blue Tiberium we have Firehawks out a V35 Ox Scout that will get taken out and now I just need to keep an eye on these Firehawks just to see if they're going to go into bomb loadout or missile loadout he is in fact on missile loadout but I wasn't too sure I was thinking maybe he has Four of them on missile, four of them on bomb to take out my technology assembler. But yes, most of the Firehawks do get disposed of, but I was able to trade for two of his. So I retained four of my Firehawk Storm Riders alive and my tech center. Two decks full of Firehawks is a very powerful strategy against the Skrins. I have to be very careful because he can go in and bomb my drone platform and take me out. I don't have any means of recovering unless I build a gravity from my gravity stabilizer build a drone ship. And look, I used the EMP on his airfield and killed two of the firehawks there. Not not the best use, but my ultimate plan here was to take over the tier three. Uh, he sells. The tier 3 before the ability is used which means the mastermind's ability is not considered used that was something i fixed in r21 it's been so many updates ago i can't quite remember but yeah that was a uh, oversight by cgf when that preparation time was introduced on the commandos one second before it can capture a structure so at this point I need to go in and try and take out this MCV. I know he hasn't got any hammerheads. I've got eyes in his base, but there is a watchtower there and we know he's already got AP ammo. So trying to take that over is suicide. Maybe if I was Traveler, I could have blinked in and got it, but risky. So what's my play here, you may ask? Well, it is to go literally for planetary assault carriers. I'm not going for a hex spot. I deemed the Hex spot is going to get hard countered. I don't think Hex is the answer. Because he's got Juggernauts. And he's got an Armoury. He's going to go for EMP grenades. He's going to have ample options against Eradicate Hex spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Planetary Assault Carriers and Devastator Warships. I'm going to try and siege that base. And I'm not going to set up expansion. I'm going to spend all my dollars on these Devastator Warships. A handful of tripods too just to protect them on the ground against slingshots. Now I teleported one of those tripods back, which was good for me. And I see a Firehawk over my EMP. I'm going to try and take that one with my Mastermind. It'd be good to control a Firehawk. Some Hammerheads flying in here. My Storm Riders will be buffed by the Ion Storms for 15 seconds, which will allow them to gain a 25% increase to their attack power and kill those hammerheads. All five of the hammerheads will be going down. And I know right away that those firehawks can be back with the missile loadout. I activate the ion storm on that planetary assault carrier, which will increase its armor as well. It produces incoming damage, increases damage. It is a really good buff for the screen air units. It also will synergize with my storm riders later on. So here I move in with my Storm Brothers. I try and kill one of those Firehawks as it is reloading. Unfortunately, unsuccessful, and I was unable to get anything. Planetary Assault Carrier moving in. 
tripod has been EMP, but I got my EMP of my own, and I'm trying to locate a weak spot for my mastermind. If you can go around the side and take out his MCV, that would be awesome. But it does go down, and I do have Storm Riders. I've got Storm Riders, Planetary Stock House, and Devastator Warships. Devastator to kill the infantry. Storm Riders to engage and kill the Firehawks. And you can see here the Storm Riders will go in and chase these units back. Planetary Assault Carriers will activate their Iron Storms, which will heal them over time. The rate at which these units get healed at is considerable. But needless to say, this is an extremely unorthodox strategy. EMP gets used, and you just witnessed a pretty big bug fix there, where only screen units without shields get destroyed. In fact, in vanilla, that did no nothing at all. Once you had the shields, screen air units were completely unaffected. Now it functions like ground units. I knew if this attack fails, it's pretty much over for me. So here I decide to sell my drone ship. I'm officially all in, though I can always rebuild my drone ship from that gravity stabilizer if I need to. I'm just going to stay put here for now. These Devastators are key. They're getting a lots of free damage dealt. And I need to try and reveal what's ahead of me. Firehawks come in. Take a swipe at that Devastator. But the shields and along with the Veterans, he will keep that one lone Devastator alive. Slingshot's now starting to come out tripods are being reclaimed this is what i need to counter his next move which will most likely be a slingshot transition those slingshots won't stand a chance against those tripods on the ground yes while packs do struggle against slingshots it's a problem but if i have tripods to protect them then the packs and the tripods can make up for each other's weakness Packs can sort of kill aircraft, but they're not as effective as Storm Riders are. That pack is revealing something. Looks like it is a sniper team, so good thing I didn't go for mass shock trooper, though that is an option. I can build aircraft, and I can build infantry. And I'm going to keep on going for air units in this particular game. I've got all my tech. I can build storms, I can build devastators, and I can also build... I was, a little bit, I was a little bit frustrated at the fact that he has that EMP control center still. My air units are going to be pretty exposed to it. Especially if he pings off the shields in the next fight. And then combos that with the EMP. So I'm going to move in. And commit to destroying this EMP control center. Storm Riders are back out. So we truly have the full invasion of Earth in force here. Storm Riders going in to intercept the Firehawks. Devastator gets destroyed at the cost of a Firehawk. That's not an easy screen army to deal with, that's for sure. And you notice there's not one single hexapod in this game. It is just air units and tripods. Slingshots this late in the game are also pretty uncommon. I destroyed the EMP, and that's really all I wanted at this point. Devastators are moving a little too far forward for my liking. A bit of Miss Micro from me. And it's only a matter of time before I know these slingshots will get upgraded with the tongues and shells. I notice he's got a ton of them there. Now, what I can do, if that is the case, is use the Stasis Shield. It's not the end of the world. I've got three tripods and a station shield so even if those slingshots engage me i can trap them in that and destroy them pretty quickly tripods moving in though which will prevent the advancement of the slingshots a lot of those slingshots will be going down devastators in the back causing mayhem destroying that infantry they will auto target the infantry if you don't micro them so those missile squads are going to be destroyed that's really a threat to my tripods Mastermind is out. I can use that to regain husks. I can teleport in some assimilators and capture either the husks of my opponent or 
Oh, yeah. I thought those slingshots would chase me, so I preemptively used the EMP on the bridge. Didn't catch any of the slingshots, and my Pyrotor Assault Carriers will have most of their drones taken out. My Storm Riders, sadly, I mismicroed, and I lost a lot of them. I think I lost my entire force of Storm, so I'm in big trouble now. Summoning the Icor Seed. I've got a Stasis Shield, and I have a Phase Field. As well as a Mastermind, I can teleport in some assimilators, capture this husk, and go for Shock Troopers. I could always go back for a drone ship, but I don't want to spend three and a half grand on a drone ship right now. I want to see if I can stop him from harvesting this field on the left-hand side. Because if he starts to harvest from there, I'm not going to win this game. Four Devastator Warships. That's going to be problematic for him. Even Slingshots. If they don't move, we'll take lots of damage. Hammerheads go down, and now we see the Marv progressing into this force. And I've got Shock Troopers on the way. Just to counter the slingshots, I'm mostly concerned about that. Everything else can be dealt with. Lightning Spike is there just to reveal where my units are so I can shell them from afar with my Devastator Warships. He's harvesting from that field. I also have resources coming in because I use that Icor Seat. And now with that Tungsten Shells, I'm forced to use the Stasis Shield, trapping the bulk of those slingshots inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward and activate the Ion Storm over the Stasis shield, and this will mean the moment those slingshots are out of stasis, they will be absolutely destroyed by it. So Ion Storm comes in, and those slingshots were taken out pretty promptly. That's a huge army though. Shockwave artillery comes down. I was forced to use the phase field, and I'm looking at the slingshots, I'm ignoring everything else, and I'm commanding my planetary assault carriers to destroy those because. That is really the only anti-air he has left. And it's this army of air units that I have to keep alive. The packs will replenish their drones over time. Lots of husks here for me to capture. I can queue some assimilators and take them out. But with that tungsten shell upgrade online, it's going to be very tricky engaging this GDI player. Hammerheads are now out. He was able to build a considerable army with his long leeching. Slingshots, even though they count this force, the tripods are just there to stop him. My anti-air is not the best. I've only got shock troopers and th four planetary assault carriers. I think it's just th the three now. Good thing he doesn't have that EMP anymore, otherwise I would have lost the game right here and now tripods there just thinning out this force and i see the opportunity to combo this emp with an overlord's wrath a lot of those slingshots are caught in the emp and here is the asteroid coming in dealing massive damage to that army holding back this gdi player plateau assault carriers are recovering their drones it's going to take a minute or so before the shields come back Harvesters can no longer harvest this field unopposed. He's captured one of my husks. He ha has control of a tripod. This Marv as well is moving in. I believe it also has a missile launcher inside of it as well. So it has some AA capability. Lots of action in this game, guys. I think you're going to enjoy this one. Shock Troopers are being made. I'm just trying to position my army so I can get some shots off with these Devastators without losing a lot of my army in the process. Uh, slingshots go in. Was a mistake, however, and many of them do get killed trying to pursue down this pack. I should activate Ion Storm now and get these back to full health. Husk gets destroyed, so I don't want him capturing that back anytime soon. Marv is also taking that Tiberium with its special ability. 
Devastators are pretty exposed to the slingshot damage. I'm going to lose one of them, sadly for me. I've got a phase field, which I can use if the tripods are in danger. But I want to keep the tripods out of phase so they deal as much damage to the slingshots as possible. Two tripods is all I need. I just need to keep using these devastators to inflict damage. It's not a lot of damage against the armor forces, but considering all those units are on low health, these devastators are one shot away from killing all of those units. Plateau Assault Carrier taking damage almost goes down. Marv as well moving forward. Possibly a mistake here because my stock troopers along with the tripods will be able to take that one out. Marv does retreat. Shock troopers moving in. Slingshots as well. Plateau Assault Carriers still up in the sky as well as the Devastators. And my opponent calls the GG and that is it on Torment Crater. I thought that was a pretty awesome game involving the Skrin Armada of Devastators, Plantar Assault Carriers, and even at some moments, Storm Riders mixed in. Great versus those Firehawks. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed that game there, don't forget to hit the like button. I really appreciate that. And before we leave, I'd like to thank all my Patreon members for continuing to support me, my channel, and keeping this community going. Uh, without you guys, I would not have the motivation to do this, and it well, would have been impossible for me, quite frankly. Anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.